Hi, this is Miani, and I have another update on my garage conversion ADU. So as you can see, they had to dig a four foot trench in order to put a footing here. And there's another one on this side of the wall that's uh, in progress. And then in the front of the garage, there is a 12 inch wide opening by four feet deep. And this is the other footing in the front. So these are the footings that are required for the garage. And the other thing that they're doing is they're having to add they're having to add a four by six reinforcement beam and another beam going across the top of the roof. So there's more reinforcement beams that, be, that need to be put in place. So anyways, uh, one of the things that I wanna talk about in one of my other videos, I mentioned that the that I started the, the garage conversion, the construction of it one month before the plans were approved and some of the corrections that came in caused me to have to make some changes to the design of the kitchen because some of these new beams that were put in to reinforce the structure uh, were right in the middle of the window for the kitchen and so I had to move the window six inches to the left. And so that caused me to have to reconfigure where the sink is and where the shelves are. And I lost the pantry. So those were one of the risks of starting the construction before the plans were fully approved. Uh, and that is something that you need to be aware. But uh, the contractor is making all the changes without any additional cost to me. So that is one good thing that that happened. Uh, he started the construction earlier, but uh, any changes that we had to make, the only thing that impacted me was that the window uh, and the kitchen sink uh, and the shelves are gonna be a little bit wider. And as a result, I, last, I lost a small pantry that was gonna be at the end of the kitchen. But other than that, everything uh, we were able to fit in and accommodate those structural uh, posts going all the way up to the ceiling and the additional uh, beam that needs to go across the, the, the top of the ceiling. And I don't know why my GoPro is so dark, but uh, that's what's uh, happening with the ADU conversion. The good thing is that everything is uh, still covered under my original quote so i'm not having to incur any of those uh, additional costs to make these changes um, but as you can see the plumbing was already approved and uh, i think there's just one more inspection to to uh approve the when they do the uh, uh the tines for the for the uh, for these uh footings they have to come and approve it before they pour the cement. But uh, anyways, just wanted to give another update on the garage conversion. Uh, sometimes things don't go as planned and you have to make changes on the fly. And I think that, you know, one of the things that my contractor likes about me is that I work with him to make sure that we can make the changes without impacting costs too much. So I'm flexible on my kitchen design in order to be able to accommodate some of the new structural changes that had to be made. And uh, that flexibility, I think in the end, it results in lower costs for him and uh, the ability for me to stay within my budget. Uh, we're also working with the electric company right now. Uh, they, the electric company came to spot the meter and uh, we have a little bit of an issue right now that we're hoping to get resolved in the next few days. 
or the next few weeks is that uh, trying to figure out if there's enough amps coming through the existing drop in order to feed two meters one meter for the garage and a 200 amp meter for the main house and the detached unit uh, the problem is that the garage needs its own meter with about a hundred amps and uh, there's no meters that do 300 amps so that's the issue we're trying to to figure out is how we're going to get 300 amps into the property because uh, we're not sure that a single drop can do 300 amps um, maybe we need uh, to have the the drop come in at 400 amps but only draw 300 so we'll see how that gets resolved but that is right now one of the pending issues with uh, the meter situation uh, Edison will essentially do the drop and support the new meter for free um, but uh, again the only complication is that I need more than 200 meters coming into the house and I'm sorry more than 200 amps coming into the house and that's an issue with Edison because uh, they don't expect homes to have more than 200 amps and uh, it looks like I need about 300 to 325 I still don't know exactly how many amps for the garage conversion I think I only need a hundred but uh, not sure that they have dual meters that support what I need and that's the uh, the issue that's happening right now but uh, other than that everything is progressing slowly a little bit slowly than I want but my contractor still thinks he can get it done in a couple months so we'll see um, that's it for this update and i will keep you updated as we continue to progress but uh, 